Welcome to Ellis B. Feaster's Radio Air Check and Classic TV Channel. This is above and beyond because they, they sure as hell ain't making no mentorship grounds. Mentorship? I don't know what kid. you mean by that. What does that a mean? Role model? Role model. No, Bobby Brown's no, a role no model. Role. No, I don't, we don't. We shouldn't lay that trip on anybody. Bobby Brown is no more a role model than you or I am. And I don't even think he proposes to be one. Yeah, uh, I got a lot he, of kids who look up to me. Well, that's well, that that's their problem, and that is the problem for the, of their parents. Bobby Brown has not asked to be a role model. Bobby Brown is an entertainer, and he is you know he's and nobody should put him up on some kind of pedestal. He didn't ask for that. Yes, he simply yes. entertains people. Yeah. Okay, Let's well, forget this role model crap. He is no more a role model than Shaq's a role model or you're a role model or Charles Barkley or anybody else. That's that's one of the things wrong with this society. We we take these people and all of a sudden we declare, you're a role model. You're a role model for me. You're a role model for my children. Mm -hmm. They say, what are you talking about? I dribble a basketball for a living. What are you talking about? I'm an actor. Why should I be a role model for you or anybody else? I'm going to try to be the best in individual I can. I'm going to be. Tr I'm going to be. I'm going to try to be the best citizen I can, just because that's the way that I was brought up. But I'm the. They don't consider me a role model for anything. As soon as Bobby puts out a song that says, "I want to be a role model," yeah, I am your role model. As soon as he does that, then we'll think about it. All right. I am your tender Rooney, tender Rooney role model. Ah. <laughs> uh. No, you're. If you have children, then you be their role model. Don't you know? Don't hold anyone else account accountable for you know their actions. And no, but you know you can drink all the the liquor you want and you know pee in the street. But Bobby Brown can't because he's a role model. Give me a break. Yeah, please, role model. Where did that all come from? Where, where you know where did that all come? What a myth that is. Well, that's just putting the responsibility on someone else. Well, you know? we are so we are so goofy and stupid, and I mean, Aren't like we? OJ, he didn't do it, you know. And I, I, I don't even believe he was a wife beater, even though you got evidence to prove it. Then my, the thing about Michael Jackson, oh well, my, I know Michael Jackson would never would never molest he little loves children. children. And we said you don't know anything about Michael Jackson. The only thing you know about Michael Jackson is what his publicity agents put out, what his PR mill puts out. That's the only thing you know about Michael Jackson. Mm. And that he has a new CD coming out, a double one, that's going to cost $33, $35. Oh, my God. Yeah, black or white. I like them real tight. <laughs> 442 <laughs> on Real Radio 104.1. If you're hungry for seafood, you got to stop in at Shell's. You can mm -hmm. stay there and eat, or you can get a to-go order. Why not? And no extra charge, I might add. Really, call ahead, put together an order, stop by and pick it up, or just stop by and say, I'll take this and this and this, and I'm going to take it home. They'll put it in a box, put it in a bag, at no extra charge to you. You're about to plan dinner. You know, the kids want this. Somebody else wants that. Well, you can stop by Shell's and put it all together. You know, tired of the same old takeout pizza. You're tired of the chicken. You're tired of the burgers. Well, call or stop by Shell's tonight for a to-go order of great Florida seafood. Great Florida seafood at dockside prices. It doesn't get any better than Shell's. There's the Shell's on Lee Road, a quarter mile west of I-4, and Altamont Springs on 436, a quarter mile west of the 434-436 intersection, and in Winter Park on South Cimarron, just south of University. How about that to-go order from Shell's? If you're looking for great casual seafood at dockside prices, you got to head for Shell's. In the beginning, God created morning radio. Then he said, this sucks. Bring on Stern. I think the people ought to control the airwaves. Put the people up on the microphone there and let the people say, who should control the airwaves? We live in a free society, and as soon as people start telling other people what they can listen to and read, I would like to see some of the members of the press come out and understand that concept. They seem to have trouble with it. They're not sure where they stand on that. I can't they don't believe it. What no. Howard Stern, tomorrow morning on Real Radio 104.1. Excuse me, fella. Yeah. Would you mind taking a little look-see inside of this can of Sherwin-Williams paint? Okay. Great. Now, do you see any people in there who are highly trained to answer any question you got? I see blue paint. Come on, look closer. Okay. Sherwin-Williams can match any color you want. I see blue. Just blue. Okay, tell me you don't see over 2,000 Sherwin-Williams stores. Come on. Ooh, you know, I am beginning to see something. There you go. I see All that right. this blue paint will look great on my living room wall. Yeah. Wow, it's so thick. Mind if I take this? There's out? only one Sherwin-Williams paint and only one place to get it. Ask Sherwin-Williams, America's neighborhood place for paint. Call 1-800-4-SHERWIN. 
Oh, Ed here oh. is having a nightmare. He just finished painting his house, but now Ed wonders, did I buy the best paint? Will it crack? Peel? What will the neighbors think? But Ed can rest easy. He used Sherwin-Williams Super Paint Exterior House Paint with a 20-year guarantee. So this is one nightmare old Eddie will never have. Honey, doesn't the house look great? There's only one Super Paint House Paint and only one place to... Ask Sherwin-Williams, America's neighborhood place for paint. Call 1-800-4-SHERWIN. Now, give your house a whole new look. Save on Super Paint during our new look sale. Tonight on ABC, America's favorite lawyer is back in an all-new two-hour Matlock. Tonight, cross-dressing is almost a lost art. A very quirky FBI agent leads Matlock into a world of bank heists and murder. When the agent gets framed, Matlock gets the picture. You would have made a fine FBI agent. No, I don't like to wear dresses. Andy Griffith stars as Matlock. Tonight, only on ABC. Them, stay tuned for Day One. Followed by Eyewitness News tonight at 11 p.m. Only on WFTV Channel 9. Tonight at 11 p.m. on Channel 9's Eyewitness News. They live in the woods near our schools and our neighborhoods. They have no electricity, no running water, and no steady jobs. In an Eyewitness News special report, Channel 9's Jack Hambrick takes you into transient camps where homeless men survive. Hear why they choose to live here instead of seeking refuge from local homeless shelters. Where are these camps, and are the men who live in here a threat to you and your family? Tonight at 11 p.m. on Channel 9's Eyewitness News. Coverage you can count on from Central Florida's news leader. Real Radio. 104.1 Fast Traffic. An accident is reported on East Colonial Drive at the Econ Trail. One being cleared from 434, about a mile west of 419. I-4 eastbound. <laughs> the delays start about one mile west of the John Young Parkway and run all the way up to Lee Road. <laughs> Corporate dreams and individuals are welcome to join the 5K corporate run presented by AvMed Health Plan on June 1st at Harbor Island. For more information, call 305-666-RACE. That's 305-666-RACE. I'm Justine Moody, Real Radio 104.1. Forty-six on Real Radio one hundred four point one. Thanks to uh, Border Cantina and Winter Park on Park Avenue in the old uh, Colony Theater building for coming by for snack time this afternoon. Really, they weren't scheduled. They heard our cry. We had nobody scheduled today. They put it all together. We got like a, a truckload of quesadillas, chicken, cheese, beef and cheese, just cheese, terrific stuff, and some other things as well. If you have the opportunity, stop by Border Cantina in uh, in Winter Park and their margaritas are out of this world by the way 446 on Real Radio 104.1 let's get back to your phone calls it's a Thursday edition of the Phillips file uh Glenway go ahead yeah Jim really enjoy your show first time caller got one thing on my mind this Connie Chung thing uh, you know it wasn't that long ago that she pulled that little stunt with Newt Gingrich's mother which you know the microphone is an on thing and now this I was just wondering what you thought about that if it's not if you'd think her superiors would get on her a little bit, or do you think it's good for her ratings? Well, I don't know if it's good for her ratings or not, but this foolishness that she pulled with this assistant fire chief, and, you know, and this is a case, I think, of her opening her mouth and not even realizing what she was saying, but the way it came across is, you yahoos, you know, is this is this job too big for you, bunch of uh, hayseed okies? That's the way it came across. She probably didn't even realize she sounded like that until it was brought to her attention. I'm not a big fan of Connie Chung anymore. I used to be, and for one reason or another, I'm just not a big fan of hers. I like Dan Rather much better, and Dan Rather would have done a better job in Oklahoma City than Connie Chung because that's where Dan Rather shines. He is an experienced field reporter, and that's where he should have been. But they said, no, we already got Connie going to Oklahoma City, Dan, so you go to New York. I agree with you 100%. Thanks. We appreciate it. Just like the thing with, like I say, with uh, with the, the microphone is non thing. I mean, most people. Yeah, she screwed most up. Most people, an old person like that would probably believe it, but it sure wasn't the thing to do. Well, off the record is off the record, and off the record means you don't tell anybody else, and she right. crossed the line of, 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 of journalistic ethics there. There's no question about it, at least okay. in my opinion. Thanks a lot, Jim. Okay, see you. 448 on Real Radio. If you're saying, what are you talking about? Uh, Connie Chung, of course, with CBS in Oklahoma City covering the bombing tragedy, the bombing story. She's questioning a fire official on camera and she says, uh, can you handle this? I know you're doing a great job, but it's extraordinarily difficult. Translation, I think a bunch of Okies can handle this job or maybe we ought to bring in the NY uh, fire department to uh, really show you guys how it's done, huh? And of course the fire official should have said, well, we'll get back to the debris and save the injured when we get through sticking a roll of Mugu Guy Pan right up your ass. And say a little Maury. Can you handle this? No. We can't. Help. We don't know what we're doing. Wouldn't it be great? 
you know, if they've just had it up to here, they've been stressed out for a few days, they just can't, you know, they're, they're, they're at wit's end, working 12, 16 hours a day to clear this debris, to try to get to the injured, to try to rescue anybody who might be alive. If they just, no, we can't handle it. No, sorry. Why don't you, here, here's a shovel, Connie. You go in and start digging. It's 449 on Real Radio 104.1. You go in and start digging. He's not ready. Sorry. Talk to him. <laughs> okay. Give him the 411, will you? Todd, go ahead. You're on Real Radio. Hey, Jim. How you doing? Good, thanks. Um, before I get to what I want to talk about, I, I just want to know your opinion on what a role model is. I'm not sure what a role model is. You tell me, and let me see if I agree with it. Well, I don't really have an opinion. I, I kind of have one in, until I just heard you talking about it a second ago. I think a role model is essentially a person who elicits some kind of a sense of ethics and principles and morality. Who uh, who can who uh, who is out there as a teacher who can teach us uh, the difference between good and bad and 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 good and evil, and I think essentially uh, the only role role models we should have are probably someone associated possibly with a faith a spiritual belief that we might have, our parents, members of our family, and that's about it. I don't know if we should put anybody else in the position of being a role model. Okay, good 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 thought there. Uh, yeah, I kind of, I, I tend to agree with that. I, at first, I kind of thought that famous people or people that you, you see a lot of should be role models. But then uh, when you were talking about it just a second ago, I kind of changed my opinion. Not, yeah, not I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't, I, well, I think there are a lot of people who have that opinion that people who are famous for one reason or another ought to be a role model. Well, why? I, I, I've yet to understand that. I, I don't think that. I might have no. believed the same way up until... Well, several, 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 several years ago until I until I thought better. I mean, why? Because some guy can hit the baseball out of the park. You ought to be a role model for me or my kids? Yeah. Why? Not necessarily. Especially when we don't know anything about that person. I mean, somebody might say, well, Colin Powell ought to be a role model. Well, why? I don't know anything about Colin Powell. I probably know more than the average Joe on the street, but that doesn't mean because he's a great soldier that I want him to be a role model. I don't know anything about him. Right. What he does in the privacy of his own home or, you know, for all I know, he might be a real nose picker. <laughs> it might be a bigoted, nose-picking, dirt stomping. I doubt that, but I don't know is what I'm saying. Yeah, okay. Well, um, anyway, what I want to talk about is... 647-1041 is the telephone number to dial. Long distance, 1-800-443-1041. Jim on a cell phone. Yes. Go ahead. Okay, uh, I travel Orlando every morning from the land, and I wonder when they're going to have those yellow signs that uh, they just spent a million dollars on. Uh, what are they going to say? Are they going to direct traffic, or what are they going to do? They'll give you information about trouble that might be up ahead. Well, when's that going to happen? Well, when they get all the signs installed along I-4 from oh. Daytona Beach down into Tampa. Oh, then no one knows what's happening there yet. They're, they're not done? No, they're not completed uh, wiring them all up and getting them all erected. As soon as they're all erected and wired... And then they will be turned on a message. I think oh. they're going to broadcast this show is what they're going to do. That's very interesting. Maybe it'll show your picture on there, too. I just want to tell you. Yeah, do you talk about a number of accidents then? Oh, my God. I was in that one last uh, week uh, at Lake Mary. It took me two hours to get to work. Gotcha. It usually takes me 45 minutes. Jim, I enjoy your show. Thank you. Thank you for taking my call. We appreciate okay. it. Okay, you right. got it. 452 on Real Radio 104.1. Telephone number to dial is 647-1041. Long distance... A 1 800 443 1041. Border Cantina stopped by for snack time this afternoon, and we appreciate that very much. And hey, they weren't even scheduled. As a matter of fact, we were snackless there for a while, and Border Cantina said, hey, we'll come to our rescue. And in return, we'd like to say to you, stop by Border Cantina and try some of their authentic south of the border cuisine. Um, today, we had a whole bunch of quesadillas, which are like, they're like tortillas that are. Rolled over, flipped over, and filled with cheese and chicken and beef, and they're outrageous. They're very good. All your favorites of Border Cantina, the best rellenos in town. Border Cantina features daily lunch specials Monday through Friday, starting at just four ninety five. They got great drink specials Sunday through Thursday. Dollar mugs Thursday night is Margarita Madness. Border Cantina now has the frequent diner card. You buy ten lunches, you get one free. And guess what? Monday is Double Punch Monday. Conveniently located on. Park Avenue on the third floor of the Historic Colony Theater Building in Winter Park. Wheelchair access is available. Don't forget to stop by the Border Cantina in Oviedo. It's a mile north of the UCF campus on Alafaya Trail in the University Palms Plaza. If you're looking for genuine south of the border cu cuisine, you need to head for Border Cantina. 
Real Radio 104.1. We never perform cavity searches unless it's absolutely necessary. Tonight at 11 on the 2 News Night Beat. Is your boss a screamer or a backstabber? Maybe they're a procrastinator. If your boss is making your life tough, then watch 2 News tonight at 11. We'll teach you techniques that you can use to manage any difficult employer. First, we'll tell you how to determine what kind of boss you've got. Then we'll tell you how to handle them so they don't make your life a nightmare. So you hate your boss. A special series tonight at 11 on the 2 News Night Beat. Coming up on Entertainment Tonight... Sandra Bullock shuts down the streets of San Francisco. In a daring four-star stunt for her new film, The Net, Sandra risks her life exclusively for the E.T. cameras. Then, it's off to the tropics to work up a sweat with supermodel Rachel Hunter. Find out the exclusive secrets that give Rod Stewart's sexy wife the hottest legs in town. Plus, what do Mel Gibson and Disney's Pocahontas have in common? Find out on the next Entertainment Tonight. That's Entertainment Tonight at 7.30 on Channel 2, WESH-TV. The following cashback offers good with or without a trade-in. Cashback limited to vehicles in the new car showroom display area. Example stock numbers on cashback are 2858 truck, 2421 Corolla, and on price offers 6235 Corolla and 1551 Camry. No, you don't want to be where you are. You want to be out here where we are. If you need a new car, if you've even thought about buying a car, a Toyota car, truck, or van, you need to stop what you're doing. Get out here during the county-wide Toyota sell-off. The biggest sell-off this year. Listen, the selected location location is right here at Toyota Land in Longwood. They're offering you $3,000 cash back on every Camry, every Corolla, every truck in the new car showroom display area. $3,000 cash back with or without a trade, but $3,000 cash back no matter what shape your trade is in. No matter what kind of clunker you've got to get $3,000 cash back. No matter how bad a shape your trade is in, $3,000 cash back. The county-wide Toyota sell-off, the selected location, Toyota Land right here in Longwood. Come on down. Joseph A. Bank Clothiers presents more wisdom on how to dress. Okay, so you waited to buy a suit. You waited for Jupiter to align with Mars. Waited for America to convert to the metric system. Waited until the cows came home. Well, let me offer you some advice. Stop waiting, as in now. During Joseph A. Bank's spring all-suit sale, every suit in the store is on sale. Like our benchmark suit, handcrafted fashion, that's also wrinkle-resistant. It's supposed to be $275, but it's only $199. Even our premier suit, the finest suit we make, best fabrics, best detailing, best of everything, even buttons. Regularly, $425 is only $299. Our spring all-suit sale. Joseph Bank suits for as little as $199, the sale you waited for. Or to be exact, you waited and waited for it. Stop waiting. Joseph A. Bank's all-suit sale is on now, but pretty soon it's over. And then you have to start waiting again. Right off Interstate 4 at exit 49 at the Longwood Village Shops. Real Radio! 104.1 457 on Real Radio 104.1 News at the top of the hour. With Moira, let's get back to your phone calls. Andrew, go ahead. Oh, thank you. Jim, hi again. Long distance, 1-800-443-1041. Vincent, you're on the air. Hey, how y'all doing today? Pretty good. Long distance, 1-800-443-1041. You can fax us at 647-4139. Into the Maytag man. Hey. How you doing? I'm sitting watching uh, my video of... Uh of my jump. How'd it go? Holy mackerel, man. What a, what an experience. I got to tell you something, though. I freaked out a little bit because I, I didn't like, like, you know, you're dropping at 120 miles an hour. It's like sticking your 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 head out the window when you're going 120 miles an hour out of, you know, in a car. Uh -huh. And I couldn't breathe. I was freaking out. Were you hyperventilating? No, no, no. I just couldn't breathe. I was like, <laughs> because then you get the wind blowing in your face at 100. It's like, you ever stick your head out? Well, plenty of people can breathe on a 120 mile an hour wind. I think you were hyperventilating. You were nervous. That Who'd you jump been. with? That might have been it. Who'd I you jump know, with? But, but it, it kind of. Ooh, but then once the shoot opened with. up, and I actually I watched the tape and I timed it. It was Did we were free falling for like 50 seconds. And Jesus Christ, I got to tell you something right now, man. You talk about a bolt of energy. Wow, yeah. you did it. You know. Twice. Who'd How you, did you breathe? Who through my nose and through my mouth? Who did you jump with? Uh, a guy named Pine. Pine. Yeah, a little a little guy that's really really built. He's built like a brick house. Did Mrs. Maytag jump? No. Did she go with you? Yes. Why didn't she jump? Because she didn't want both of us to jump in case something happened. We'd leave the kids all alone. Yeah, all right. I'm gonna see. Yeah, okay. But uh, but it was a lot of it was a lot of fun. I mean, 
God, I don't know if I could do it. Actually, when we were, you know, everybody lands by, by on their feet, like kind of running. And right. Everybody landed really, really smooth all day long. But, you know, leave it Murphy's Law. When we came down, we, we what, what do they call when you... Um, Did you belly flop? No, I land, land on your ass. Right on my butt. Yeah. Right on my ass. Yeah. Me and the me and the, me and Pine, the guy, the jump master, because as we were coming down, um, we were just ready to land. Everything was perfect, but a breeze caught our uh, caught the parachute and carried us further than we. Yeah, don't go. worry about it. They're used to it. Yeah, the boom, right, like right on my tailbone, man. So you're gonna take lessons? What are you gonna do now? No, I don't know. You're not thinking about it, aren't you? N- I don't know, man. Cause that, yeah, you are. No, that freaky feeling of not being able to breathe, I didn't like. Yeah. I didn't like that at all. Yeah. I uh, I liked it, you know, I liked it, but not enough to, to, to have me go any farther. Yeah, it's like 900 bucks, man. I mean, I would love to, like, try to do it on my own, and, but that would cost you almost $1,000. That would be a lot of fun, but... Uh, yeah, and then you got to buy a parachute, too. You, well, you got to buy all that equipment, Can't right? get that at Kmart. I, I and anyways, but I wanted to thank you for turning me on. Sure, because, uh, it was it was a, it was a real blast. As a matter of fact, I'm still like really really pumped. I know, been there. If you feel like you can walk through walls, I got to run, Brian. Later, Dave, thanks. thanks. See you. Five o'clock on Real Radio, one hundred four point one. Telephone number now six four seven one zero four one. Bill on a cell phone. Hey Jim, how are you? Fine, thank you for asking. Little of um, insight on this Bobby Brown deal. <laughs> yeah, I'm a tour bus driver. I had him out for a year and a half. Um, his dad used to come out all the time to the tours and um, pick up little girls and. His bodyguard th- thugs would um, beat him up. And this used to go on all the time, so this ain't the first time it happened. Okay, I take it for whatever for, for whatever that's worth. I appreciate it. Let's get an update on current events, and we'll get back to your phone calls. A couple of lines are open, by the way. It's the Phillips File, Thursday edition, 501 on Real Radio, 104.1. WTKS Cocoa Beach, Orlando. The Howard Stern Station. Real Radio 104.1. News. Hey, the hunt is going on for this John Doe number two. They're looking for him. They're looking for a license plate. You don't want to know. Are you listening? I'm Moira on Real Radio 104.1. Traffic and weather are coming up in two seconds. Hold the phone, Tootsie. This license plate is the latest object of a public appeal. They're begging, they're fetching, they're whining. The FBI says you must look around. It's an Arizona tag, and it's got the number LZC. 646. All right, now, that's it. You know it. Look out. It's Arizona. Now, special agents say it may have fallen off the car of this bombing suspect, Timothy Oyvey. When McVeigh picked up the day of the bombing, his car was missing his license tag. Nobody found it. The Arizona records show it belonged to a 1983 Pontiac station wagon. Ugh, registered to McVeigh. A North Carolina man has pleaded guilty to killing Michael Jordan's dad. 19-year-old Larry DeMary entered the plea today to first-degree murder and some other charges stemming from the slaying of James Jordan. This all happened in July in 93. Remember, he was shot to death as he was napping in his car just south of Lumber to North Carolina. Very bad news. The government is reporting today, this is also very bad. Heroin is gaining customers. Honest to God. The White House drug policy, big mavens, big mockers. They say the prices are down for heroin, the supplies are up, and you know what that means. If you're a druggie, everybody's going to heroin. Heroin is luring people away from crack cocaine. Huh, all right, there you go. And her dad has a very big job, but Chelsea Clinton didn't take off school to see him work today. A lot of these other White House types brought their kids in, especially their daughters. It's part of Take Your Daughters to Work Day. The White House says Chelsea is there every day. She's not impressed with Dad. I don't know. Maybe she'll go with Mom one day. Spring has come to Alaska. You know how we know? The ice has finally broken up on some Fakak, the river. Twelve people who guessed exactly when it would happen are richer. As a matter of fact, they got $27,500 each. It's an annual lottery they do to see when the ice is going to break up and move down the river. Isn't that cool? It happened at 122 yesterday. Researchers are celebrating. They're dancing all around the Kazatsky because baboons had triplets. It's never happened before. They can't find the record of three or more live births among primates. Not people. Now, we're talking monkeys, baboons. All right, they called them Albert, Butch, and Charles, ABC. Albert, Butch, and Charles, these baboons. It's so cool. They were born in San Antonio. And finally, guess what happens in July? That big schlub, Tom Arnold, is getting married to a girl from college. She's a college student. She's a co-ed. They're getting married this July up in Michigan. 800 people are going to be invited of their closest friends and relations. So far, I haven't gotten my invitation. I'm waiting. I'm looking in the mail right as we speak. Traffic and weather coming up next. Real Radio 104.1 News Time is 5.03. Hey, if you're looking for the best Cuban food in Metro Orlando, you look no further than Don Pepe's and Pepito's. It's as simple as that. If you have not stopped, whether you've never had Cuban food or whether you really love it, if you have not stopped by Don Pepe's, I don't know what's keeping you. 
the, I love Cuban people and I love Cuban food, and it's got its own special taste. If you're the type of person who who who, who likes onions and you like garlic and you like food that just awakens your taste buds, you can't do any better. You can't do any better than Cuban food. Whether you go up to Don Pepe's for a simple Cuban sandwich, maybe a bowl of black beans and rice, or you want something more exotic, ropa vieja, you know, rose con pollo, vaca frita, which is simply one of my favorites. Get some yucca with mojito sauce, some yellow rice, sweet plantains, top it off with flan for dessert. It's a little demi a little buche, uh, buche of uh, strong Cuban coffee. It doesn't get any better than that. Don Pepe's in the Kmart Plaza off Forest City Road and State Road 436, or if you want quicker faster drive through service, but the same great Cuban food, then you need to stop by Pepito's on Lee Road right across from Angels. So when you're thinking of Cuban food, only two places to consider nowadays, Don Pepe's and Pepito's. We don't do this. Now another ten flamethrowing hits in a row. Coming up, another ten of your favorite soft hits. Ten conservative ideas. And we never play this. Because it makes you sick. <laughs> This is what we do all week. Howard Stern. Thanks to your personality, I might never get another erection. And Tim. What kind of human being is against public broadcasting? you got to be a psychopath. Passionful. It's kind of an awkward situation if you think about it. Awkward, but it sounds like it also could be a very sexually exciting situation. It doesn't get much better than this. Real Radio 104.1. Between being in the community and being part of the community. At the Courtesy Auto Group and Saturn of Orlando, we're part of it. That's why we created Courtesy on Wheels, the big old camper with all kinds of neat displays. So look for us all this week at the Orlando International Fringe Festival or this weekend at SeaWorld, ballooning with the Audubon Society. And if you need a ride to these events, stop by Saturn of Orlando. Lease the new Saturn SL, just $198 per month, only 36 months. $1,000 down, total payment $71.28. See this Saturday's Orlando Sentinel for details. Come on, baby. Four point one fast traffic. An accident on Westbound Lake Underhill Road at the East West Expressway overpass. I four, everyone's favorite parking lot, is that way from the John Young Parkway to Lee and four thirty six southbound. It's creeping between Castleton and Aloma. Attention, senior citizens! Free health screening tours, financial planning seminars, and more for seniors on Wednesday, May third at the Downtown Orlando Senior Day, eight thirty a.m. in Duncan Park at the Sunbank Center. Call four two two one five three five. I'm Justine Moody, Real Radio one hundred four point one. <laughs> It's very warm in here. It's going to be mostly cloudy out there where you are. Too bad. It's going to have showers. You're going to have thunder showers. And tomorrow it's going to be exactly the same thing. Uh, tomorrow it's going to be schmutzy too. Partly cloudy showers. Yucko. Tomorrow it gets up to the lower 80s. Oh, that's where we are right now. It's 82 degrees in downtown Orlando. That's the news, the traffic, and the weather. Just call me Moira. Real Radio. 104.1. on Real Radio 104.1. Hello to all of you just gotten out of the office. You're on your way home from uh, work. Welcome to hour number three, Thursday edition of the Phillips Felt, talking about this, talking about that, talking about Ch- Connie Chung and talking about Tom Brokaw, uh, you know, Big Cheese, and uh, both of them, the Big Cheese in Oklahoma City made asses out of themselves. We'll tell you about that later on. What else are we talking about? Bobby Brown. By now you know the Bobby Brown story, the Bobby Brown, uh, let's beat him up down outside mannequins at Pleasure Island. They charged Bobby Brown with disorderly conduct. Bobby Brown has been charged with, uh, I think, assault, aggravated assault. And the question really now is what will happen with Bobby Brown, that thug, that punk, who I believe is still in Orlando. Nothing like having one of your bodyguards, a cold cock a guy, you know, he's unconscious before he hits the ground. Then you jump on him, all three of you jump on him and, and beat him over the head with a bottle. So we'll see how that case uh, winds its way through the local justice system. You know exactly what will happen. Of course, Bobby Brown is an entertainer of somewhat questionable character, married to Whitney Houston. 
He's been in trouble with the law before. Apparently beat, beat the crap out of somebody up in Atlanta. Now he's been charged with beating the crap out of somebody down on uh, Disney property. And we'll see how it's handled. You know his lawyer's already contacted somebody. Money will change hands. The person who got beat up will probably be convinced financially not to press charges. But it's still up to the state attorney's office whether the person who was the victim one uh, chooses to press charges or not. It's now in the hands of the state attorney's office. I think we ought to send a message. And the message that we who live here in Orlando, Metro Orlando, in the Tri-County area, the message ought to be, we don't tolerate that kind of nonsense on the part of people who live here and visitors as well. If you think you can just stroll onto Disney property, stroll into Orlando and beat up somebody and get away with it, you got another thing coming. But we'll see what happens with Lawson Lamar, who's the state attorney of the Orange Osceola District. I think we ought to send a message. And the message to Bobby Brown ought to be, we're going to fine you, we're going to convict you, you're going to do about three to six months behind bars. And that's just the way it's going to be. And then you're going to issue an apology to the people of Central Florida, you punk, thug. Is that the only way that uh, you can uh, beat up on people, have one of your bodyguards knock them unconscious first? 510 on Real Radio 104.1. A couple of lines are open if you want to jump on board. Be our guest. Love to hear from you. 647-1041. Long distance. It's a free phone call. one 800 Four four three one zero four one. Let's get to this. Let's see what he's up to. Now he's calling us on the main line. <laughs> now he's not even using our secret number, so what he are you can talking talk about. Oh, he. Oh, he. He calls us on that number whenever he. Oh yeah, he's got like the secret secret contest number mm-hmm. that he calls just to carry on a conversation with the Goyles. But <laughs> now no. he wants. Now he wants to go mainstream. Nine seven six real. <laughs> really, Chris Castleman, how you doing today? Hey, buddy. Nah. I tell you what, you uh, you're, you're, you're landing heavy on thick today, aren't you? Huh. I said you're laying it heavy on them thick today, aren't you? Not as much as that tan in a can. Hey, wow. Well, I'll tell you what, there hasn't been much sun around lately. Well, you got to do what you got to do. Hey, listen, uh, that border cantina, that's a great place to eat. No question about it. Uh, my wife and I were there Saturday night, and it's one of the best uh, best I've eaten at. And terrific. It's a well, terrific You can place. take Moira and I no, anytime. No, he's talking, doing advertisements now. You shouldn't call up to do advertisements. I think he is the most handsome fellow in the whole TV. He's so handsome. Oh. Cufflinks and all. There's no question about it. He is a I, handsome Why do you put on cufflinks 6 o'clock in the morning? That's no fun. That's just your look, huh? Is that it? I'm glad Moira got her check. <laughs> <laughs> the only I thing is, so, he's anyway. so good looking, he puts everybody else to shame on Channel 2 in the morning. Yeah, the rest of them. Alan yes. Edwards. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, you know, you're taking a look at Chris stuff. Castleman, then you got to take a look at Alan Edwards. It looks like somebody took a bicycle, bicycle pump and pumped them up to about 140 pounds. That's, very, that's not very It's nice. true, though. It's not very nice. Oh, it's but. true. It's oh. like the mad pumpkin, you know, at <laughs> Halloween staring you at the screen. <laughs> oh, I don't even think that was Chris Castleman. I don't even he sounded that. like a nice fella. Yeah, it wasn't he? even Chris Castleman. He had that nice southern accent. Oh, that wasn't yeah, he him. sounded too masculine to be Castleman. <laughs> I, beg, I beg your pardon. I'm oh, sorry, please. that wasn't Castleman. You don't think so, huh? We know better. Well, Castleman can put, at least put two sentences together. That guy, I mean, I bought a canteen. It's a great place. That he works there in the kitchen, oh, maybe. Good. Maybe he's that in that marimba band on Friday nights. <laughs> yeah, he's got plantain with the other Hispanics. Six four six. <laughs> Why well, he's got that tan? Stop it. Yank these. Not that line. It's uh, 513 on Real Radio. Men can never admit there's another attractive man anywhere. They always say, yeah, but he has nose hair. Yeah, I'm but he has I'm not saying he's an yeah, unattractive he has- man. Every he's just- time we mention a handsome man, you say, oh, no, he's a little feminine. Oh, no, he's a little this. Oh, his tan is not real. There's he's- always something. No, he's- I'm not saying he's, he's a handsome man, but well, I hear he's go. got boils on his back. Stay there. It's another one. <laughs> it's 513 on Real Radio 104.1. Not a lot, three or four, but, you know. Strategically placed. He's not, he's not, you know, he's a pretty boy. You know. Yes, he is. I mean, if I had, you know, if I had to, like, if God said, look, no more women. You get, sorry, that's just the way it is. We're punching your ticket and there's no more women. So you got to pick a man to hang around with. You know, I'm not picking Chris Castleman. I'm picking Charles Lawton because he's so ugly. I would never get in bed with him and he's a great cook. It's 540. He's dead, too. 514 on Real Radio. Dave, go ahead. Hey, this is Dave. Yeah. <laughs> Wrong name. Um, anyway, I don't usually call you for, like, serious stuff. Yeah. But, What's uh, going on I today? I stick with my dog's turgid uvula and stuff like that. Uh-huh. But um, something happened to me yesterday that kind of teed me off. What's that? I wanted to get your opinion on it. Um, 
I don't know if it's the FOP or whatever it is. These people who uh, call you up at the house. Oh, yeah. And they try to get you to donate money to them. It's usually like the, uh, there's one that's like the Florida Highway Patrol Widows Fund. Well, this is, they were saying that there's drunk drivers and stuff, and what we need is people to help us, help the police to donate money, you know, to get these drunk drivers off the road and special programs that they set up roadblocks or whatever, you know, just donate to them. I told him, I said, well, I'm kind of strapped right now, but I could probably, you know, donate like around five bucks or something like that to your cause. And he told me he was sorry he couldn't accept $5 because it was too low. <laughs> and and I'm thinking, well, you know, you already make me feel bad enough that I'm just only going to give you 5 bucks, and then you tell me you can't take the money. And then I'm thinking, well, why can't he take 5 bucks? you know? Oh, yeah, I mean... He's calling me to get no, money, I'm sorry. I'm five bucks. I don't, I, don't, I don't respond to people who are asking for money over the telephone for crying out loud. i got a hard enough time giving so, a handout to somebody who's out on the street asking for it. You know, oh. you choose your organizations you want to donate to, you write them a check, you give them some cash, you join the United Way. But, you know, this garbage about people calling you on the telephone, you don't know who's on the other end. you well, got no idea who's on the other end. That guy made me, you know, he made me feel like, okay, well, he did his whole spill, and I figured, well, okay... Five bucks, I can give him five bucks, and he turns me down. I'm like, well, you called me, you know. <laughs> really? I mean, well, what did he want? Well, he was just wanting donations to help the. Well, police. I know, but how much was he trying to get out well, of you? He says for the um, the high and mighty, um, where they I guess they give you the bumper sticker, the 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 sign in the back of your window saying, "Don't pull me over." Yeah, that's and, it. I support I support the local whatever, and a lot of people think it's you know you put that in the back window and the cops won't pull you over. Yeah, well, there is baloney. Tried that, that. That right there started at twenty five. 35 and then 45 you get the the royal Jeez. treatment and then anything below that they'll just send you a bumper sticker and then i'm thinking well, <laughs> okay, well i don't really want to be the high mighty just give me the five dollars i'll give you five dollars you take it and put it toward whatever you want right but uh i seen a bumper sticker today it's a dare on it mm -hmm. it says dare to keep cops off donuts or something like that <laughs> and it had a little funny saying below oh that'll that. really do you a lot of good in traffic <laughs> that'll do you a lot of good when they pull you over for speeding yeah but, anyway i appreciate right, the well, call just Thanks. See so, you. Yeah, 516 on Real Radio. That's all we ever do. Bob on a cell phone. Good afternoon, Mr. Jim. Yes, sir. Uh, another good program as usual. Right. Hey, I just heard your listener there, and it kind of tweaked my interest uh, as I was driving home today. I got a golden rule that I always do with these uh, either telemarketers or especially the people that want donations for, like, the fraternal order of this and that or whatever. I always ask, tell them that I'm busy, uh, but, if they, but if they'll send it to me in the mail, I'll consider it. Guess what? I never get anything in the mail. That's right. These I guys are the biggest scam. In, in 1995, if you're giving out, like, credit card numbers and all that sort of hullabaloo to all these telemarketing guys, you're just setting yourself up to get ripped off. I don't do any business by people that come knocking on my door or come calling on my telephone. Exactly. I'll pick the charities I want to donate to. I That's mean, exactly I don't even... Right. I know, we were talking about it earlier today. Who got the call? Somebody got the call. Where did that come from? Somebody was talking Ms. about a solicitation today. Now, what oh, was it about? I got it today. Yeah, Ms. B got one today. <laughs> and they, you know, they call and they start off asking me, is, you know, blankety blank, 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 you, you know, is this your number? And I'm like, well, who's calling? Yeah. And they said, hi, this is blankety blank, blank, and you are the grand prize winner of, your, your number was selected to win the grand prize of a three-day, two-night trip for nobody to nowhere, and, you know, and for the simple... Donation of forty nine ninety five. I'm like, Psh, I didn't win anything. And of course, they're reading it right off a card. You know. Oh yeah, she's reading all the. Congratulations, you are the winner <laughs> of a. Let me tell you a personal story about that. Uh, my dad is a retired doctor back in Louisiana, and I just had to go home three weeks ago. Um, he's got some mental problems. He's not doing real well, but he's basically spent all of his retirement on two things. Lottery tickets and these sweepstakes things, just like Miss D was talking Damn. about, where they say you've you're 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 guaranteed a part of a hundred thousand dollar pie for twenty bucks. Well, guess what we found in his apartment? And what stuff? all these checks for like a dollar fifty cents, all that stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. It's aye. the biggest ripoff in the end. What it, it really looks like, you've won money. And all these retirees down here are spending their money. So just a word to anybody. If it's too good to be true, it is. You got it. Thanks for the Have call. Appreciate it. Sure. I don't think that was Chris Castleman. Not this guy, but the guy before him. I don't, I don't think, think so either. No, that well, wasn't Chris Castleman. we spoke with him personally. Well, see, How can no, we tell you it's really him? We it's know not, his voice. He didn't respond. Please. He didn't respond to your question, to your statement about the cufflinks. None of that stuff. That wasn't him. You don't think so, huh? No. He was uh -uh. nervous talking to you. To us, he's a regular fella. But Baloney. to you, he got nervous, oh, maybe. Oh, that was not him. He's, a, he's asleep now. He's getting ready for tomorrow morning's program. No, not yet. Yeah, golfing with Claire Metz. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> Stop it. 
I'm not the only one who thinks he's handsome. I got news for you. This one, she screams. She I'm hears him on the phone. Bad, I'm not saying he's. I'm not saying he's a bad-looking fella. He's just too much. He's a pretty boy. He's oh, not. That a, truly was him. We know. We know, know these things. We have the inside track. It's a, you know. It's a trick to keep people from lying. A manly man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can have Marty Stebbins. Like I don't want Marty Stebbins. You can have him. Marty does not a cook. <laughs> it's uh, 519 on Real Radio. If I'm going to be with a man, I want, I want some guy who knows how to cook. Doesn't mind doing the laundry either. Mr. Moira's taken. Sorry. That would be, that would be, uh, that wouldn't be a bad, uh, I'll keep him in mind. 647-1041 is the telephone number to Al Phillips file. Thursday edition. Long distance, one 800 443 1041. Let's bring to your attention what happened because you're, a lot of you are saying, I got in the car and you started talking about Brokaw and Connie Chung, so what's the story there? First of all, Brokaw, get a load of this one. Uh, Nightly News, NBC Nightly News anchor Tom Brokaw created a stir in Oklahoma City, according to this uh, account, press account, when he chewed out a hotel desk clerk. That's really, that's really showing who you are, huh? Boy, I've got power. I can yell at a hotel desk clerk. Brokaw, checking into the Medallion Hotel the day after the blast, was told there were no rooms for him or, or his entourage, his, you know, his crew, his aides, his assistants, all those people, makeup people, whomever. Space was tight at the 400-room hotel. It's located four blocks from the blast site. Uh, there were no rooms because they were given free, get a load of this, given free to victims, the family of victims, and given free to emergency workers. So Tom Brokaw, at least according to this press account, had one of those uh, media tantrums. We've seen it before on the part of network people. We've seen it on the local level right here at this radio station. I mean, people just having a, a temper tantrum. Well, anyway, Brokaw got his room. And the hotel found ones elsewhere for his colleagues. Wouldn't it have been great if the hotel would just have said, well, yeah, Mr. Brokaw, you had a reservation. But guess what? You don't have one now. You know why? Because we've decided to take our 400 rooms and donate them free for a time to the families of victims and to per emergency rescue personnel. We just think that's a little bit more important than reserving a room for you. You make a lot of money. Why don't you go rent yourself a condo? You know, we'll put you down at uh, Aunt, uh, Aunt Mary's boarding house. It's about a half mile away from here. It's really not too bad. Thirty nine ninety five a night, and uh, you get dinner. It's 522 on Real Radio 104.1. Andrew on a cell phone. Yeah, hi, Jim. Hi, you? Uh, that situation with the uh, scam, boiler room scams for the contest for old people happened to my mom's boyfriend's mother. Oh, really? What happened? And, uh, well, she, you know, these people get her number, and once they find out that she'll start giving money away to these contests, she writes check after check, mm -hmm. and finally stopped her mail coming to her house and had it sent to his house. They had over three shopping bags full of letters for contests. You're stuffed, kidding me. Stuff to the brim, just contest, and she ended up spending about thirty grand. See, that's the kind. Of, see, we don't do a very good job when we catch up with these people with punishing people like that. There's nothing worse than, you know, a white collar criminal or somebody who takes it takes advantage of the of the infirmed or, or the elderly because they just you know they 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 revert back to their naive days. They just can't think yeah. as as well as well, they used to. She was doing it because uh, she wanted to win. She was doing it because she wanted to win money for her son. And I mean, it was just awful. There were these these shopping bags were stuffed to the brim with envelopes. I can't believe that there are actually people out there know, who take right? advantage of right. the elderly. I mean, how can you live with yourself? How could you get up in the morning and look yourself in the yeah. mirror? There's a lot of them out there. It's too and bad. On, on another subject, yeah. I want everyone to come to see Weird Romance at the Fringe. Okay. I'm in it. My wife's in it. It's a great play. All right, we'll do it. When, when's the next show? Purple venue tonight at eight forty, tomorrow night at five fifty, and Saturday night the big midnight show at eleven thirty. What's it all about? Give us a little. Uh... Uh, real quickly, a doctor uh, works with holographic images, yeah. and uh, a holographic image comes to life in his chamber, and it's his uh, wife from a former life who comes back to help him. I'm enthralled. Become uh, better, uh, have a better relationship with his wife in the present, and okay. it's a musical written by. The music was written by the guy who wrote Beauty and the Beast. And, oh, uh, wow. Okay, and, well, I can't make it. I'm sending Drew. Yeah, well, huh? he, Wait a minute. he'll be up to his Okay, now. you got it. i got to move on. 524 on Real Radio. i got to wash my hair tonight. Suffering from back pain? If so, let me tell you about a revolutionary new therapy. It's known as Vax D. 
stands for vertebral axial decompression. It's a non-surgical method of decompressing your lumbar spine. The only place in Central Florida where you can receive Vax D therapy is at the American Back Center. It is the non-surgical means to repair herniated and degenerated discs. Uh, it's covered by most insurance plans. It's been approved by the FDA. 